All right, everybody, 932, and our next guest has starred in film and television. She played the fan favorite character, Marion Colby, on the daytime drama, Yes, Mom, we have her here from all my children. Never miss an episode, my mother. <laughs> oh, and she's so funny. She's had us laughing all right. So as soon, and, and soon she'll be uh, celebrating the Broadway classic Grand Hotel. So please welcome actress Jennifer Bassey. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank I mean, you. Obviously, many folks love you yes. from your days on All My Children, his mother included, Never my mother episode. as well. Yeah. Oh, I love being loved because I love the character. I mean, she, you know, it's very rare that you get to play an alcoholic nymphomaniac <laughs> on and off for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like slipping into an old coat, you know. They'd say, do you want to come back? And do I marry her? And I said, yeah, you know, yeah. so it's like, you know, you play it on and off for 30 years. It's just great. But did people come up to you on the street like you were actually that woman? Oh, well, first While of all, I, I was on the subway one day and this man was going. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a wedding ring on, you know, and I'm going, you know, I'm not an nymphomaniac. And, and, and I'm not interested, actually. Uh, you know, people, yeah, and, and I, when I first started, I was a horrible villain. I mean, yeah. Yeah. horrible villain. And, and uh, I was in a butcher store, and someone came up to me and went, bang, <gasps> and hit me in the face and said, you adulterous B-I-T-C, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? And I said, no, no, I'm just an actor. You right. know, I, I'm, I'm just playing a role. And then people were throwing tomatoes at me one day, these kids, and I called oh my, my husband gosh. and said, darling, I'm hiding in a Chinese restaurant. Come and rescue me. They're throwing tomatoes at me. Oh, my, you know? my gosh. And, and so I decided then and there, I have to make her funny. Yeah. Mm. So I call it like the Marion Colby sex pause. <laughs> It's kind of based like on Mae West, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. And I say, um, instead of saying to a man 70 years or younger, um, <laughs> uh, would you like a bite of my hamburger? I would say, would you like a bite of my uh, hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> And so I made her kind of Mae West, <laughs> yeah, which, right, right. which took the edge off her being so lethal, yeah. sleeping oh, with all okay. my daughter's husbands and sleeping with everybody else's husbands. Yeah. You know, I had a, I had an engagement party on the show. I was going to marry a, a good twin mm -hmm. named yeah. Stuart, not yes, the evil I twin named Stuart. Adam. Yes, you know. I loved Stuart. And, and um, so Adam hated me, and he invited everybody he could find that I slept with in Pine Valley. Mm. The whole orchestra I slept with, they were... <laughs> The man serving canopies, you know. I, I turned and went, did a double take because I slept with him, you know. And well, was my like, God. everybody in the room I slept with. So, I mean. But how did you end up there, right? Because you, 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 back in the day before that, you were a singing Playboy bunny Look at working you. at the first. Playboy Club in Chicago. The very first Playboy Club in Chicago. Wow. So then and, you transitioned to acting. And, well, Bobby Short, the wonderful Bobby Short, who was a great singer, there's a street named after him over near the Carlisle Hotel, he said, you shouldn't be a singing bunny, you should be an actress. And so I was reading uh, a book by George Bernard Shaw that I never even finished the foreword. You know, it was so complicated. I didn't know what he was You're talking hilarious. about. You're hilarious. But it said, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art is the best school in the world, so I wrote a letter said, hi, I want to come to your school. They said, oh, no, 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 no. We only take three Americans a year, oh. but oh. we take 33 people if you want to audition in London. Mm. So I was actually too drunk to pack the night I left the Playboy <laughs> Club. And so I said to my uh, other bunny, Claudia, I said, Claudia, will you pack for me? Could you pack sweaters and, you know, and pants? No evening gowns or, uh -huh. you know, and, you know, that we used to wear as Playboy yeah. bunnies. And so she was stronger than I was. And when I arrived in England, I had feather boas, negligees, <laughs> one pair of pants, and one sweater oh. for three years. I was over there. <laughs> you crack me. So, oh my God. Well, clearly you have talent. I mean, because oh. you're still you're still working after in many decades as an actor. And, yeah. and your new film is coming out, right? It's called Omni, Omni Lou. It's going to be. It's Mary Louise Parker. Yes. Who is just delicious. She is delicious. And I loved working with her, and it's opening at the Austin Film Festival. Wow. Um, I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, playing at South by Southwest. It's huge. Yeah. You mean you could... It's playing at that festival, the yes, South yes, by Southwest. Yes, yes, it's supposed to be very yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. Oh, it is. It's a big festival. It's one and, of the biggest. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, no, I feel very, very blessed, and I've got a, 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 a series that's playing on Amazon now and Tubi called Kombucha Cure, right. where I taught myself a Hungarian accent. Ah, was it tough? Because, well, there's a wonderful man online. He's brilliant. And, uh, you, and so I took four vowels. And I thought, okay. So they say company. Uh -huh. Instead company? of company. Yeah. Okay. They say lot instead of lot. 
Yeah. Yeah. And they say vise. They don't have a W. So I taught myself how to do it. And um, impressive. I had a wonderful time. And I think I'm I'm dying in the next season. I don't oh. know. But I play <laughs> twins. You're I play hilarious. twins. So the twin is more racy. Listen. We're almost out of time. I want to get to this because a week from today, you're going to be celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Grand Hotel, Hotel on Broadway. Um, Broadway legend Tommy Toon's uh, 85th birthday. So big celebration here. What are we doing? Oh, my gosh. Well, Walter Willison, who was in the original cast, is a wonderful director. And uh, he's directing... It's, it's the 35th reunion with the original cast, yeah. except Lillian, the great Lillian Montevecchi, who played the role I'm playing, is no okay. longer with us. My late husband wrote the show, and, wow. and he was a wonderful human being. And very witty, very funny. And it describes, like, two days in the lives of people staying at the Grand Hotel. Tommy Toon's birthday we're also celebrating. Okay. And he's turning 85 uh, this year. And uh, there's a line that describes the whole thing to me, the whole show. Um, there's a dying man who comes to celebrate the last part of his life. He's always wanted to be in the Grand Hotel. Mm -hmm. And he comes to, to end his life at the Grand Hotel, and he's full of awe and joy. And on the other side, there's a very, very cynical doctor who's a drug addict, who at the top of the show is literally shooting up. And uh, the doctor says, look at him, meaning the man who wants to be in the Grand Hotel. He said, look at him. He's dying, and he wants to live. Mm. And I'm living, and I can't wait to die. Mm. Wow. You know, and it's like, and everybody in the rooms all have um, problems. Yeah. Let's wow. say that. And, and everyone has their own number describing their character. And I play a, a aging <laughs> ballerina, <laughs> to put it mildly, aging, very aging ballerina, and, um, and uh, who falls in love. Oh, well, that's wonderful. With a baron who is in her room to steal her jewels. And uh, they fall in love, and, and my husband wrote the scene, and in one and a half pages, it goes from, what are you doing here, to, let's go to bed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, well, we could talk to you forever. We are so glad that you came to yeah. visit us, though. It was so wonderful speaking We're with you. We're out of Thank time. you so much. Yes. yes, and I'm looking forward to this. It's at 54 Below, presenting Grand Hotel, the 35th anniversary original Broadway cast reunion concert as well as honoring Tommy Toon's 85th birthday, running February 26th and 27th with a two shows a night. And we're streaming on, on, on the 7 o'clock show on the 27th all over the world. Wow. wow. People can call and pay $29.50 and see the show from anywhere in the country. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thanks Come so on back. Thanks for coming. Okay? I, I would love to. Great. I love you, too. I love you. I love you. Oh, my gosh. You had, you had me rolling. <laughs>